We're going to start with a sketch for the base feature. I can see that it is uh, 350 millimeters long and 150 millimeters wide in its aggregate size, that it contains four holes that are 10 millimeters, and the angular edges are set at 120 degrees. I've started a new document and set it to millimeters, and I have a part studio open. I'm going to start a sketch on the top sketch plane, right click and view normal to the sketch plane. In this case I'm going to use a corner rectangle. Establish a rectangle that will be the outside edges of the base. This is going to be 350 millimeters long and 150 millimeters wide. I'll double click to zoom to fit. And in this case, I want to establish the center of this rectangle on this edge with the origin. So I'm going to use a midpoint constraint from this edge to the origin. And I've established the center of this base with the origin on the top sketch plane. I'm going to start by establishing a center line. I'll use my line construction. I want this to be coincident with the origin and the vertical line. Next we'll establish some of the linear geometry. I want to be coincident to this center line, uh, horizontal, and I know I have an angle here. I'm going to dimension these right now. This line is 50 millimeters from the center and I can establish this angle at 120 degrees. Now I have another line coming from the coincident with the back edge and coming forward and then coincident with this edge over here. Now these are parallel with each other so I'll use a parallel constraint to keep that angle the same. Uh, this space is 50 also, so I'm going to use a vertical and say that this point is vertical to this point to establish that. Um, this distance on this side is going to be 50 and these two lines should be coincident to each other and that locks up that. So I can see that those are all constrained. Uh, next we're going to establish the holes. I'll use a center point circle and approximately here I have a 10 millimeter hole. Um, from that center I'm going to project and put in another circle. Center point here to this edge is going to be 20. I'll say that these circles will be equal. The distance between the two circles is going to be 50 and the location from the origin to this first circle is 100. So that completes the information for one half. I'm going to mirror this to the other half using my mirror tool. I'll establish that center line as the mirror line and use a window to choose the entities. With that I can right click, escape mirror. Now I've established the sketch that will be the base part. 